and the skyline Hunter's morning New moon rising Times are folding Leading, bowing Fires are lighting Sleep receding Hello. That song was a, a relatively new song. Um, it's called Fire. And I wrote it um, for the winter solstice last year, so coming up for that time again. And it's a song of, um, of celebration, of the return of the maternal warmth of the sun. And... This next one I'm going to play is on the album and it's called Hamlet Song.
<sighs> this song is called Almonds for the Present Moment. And it's about a very specific ritual that happened in the summer of 2018. And when I wrote this song, it sort of became like a center of gravity or like a sun for the album. Um, and all the songs, the other songs kind of gathered around it in its orbit. It is a song for returning to yourself, uh, especially after the kind of combustive energy of devoting yourself to somebody else. Or dissolving yourself into somebody else. Almonds for the present moment. to the sound of us. 
to my chest and prayed for your release and mine and said I scared and I'll listen to your small, small voice and you'll become a part of me again so <clears throat> it's always good for lowering the heart rate, that song. This song, this next song is kind of a... <sighs> to shake that one out. It is, oh my gosh, um, hmm. this next song, um, yes, come on, that is not a CD. So it's by Rosalie Watson, and the story of this song goes that Rosalie was sweeping in her kitchen one day, and she was thinking about all the people she loves that she's lost, and she started humming the melody to this song. And then her husband, who was Doc Watson, came over with his guitar or his banjo and he st started playing along and then they wrote this song together um, and what I find really special about that well I find loads of things special about that story um, partly the way that songs come when you're doing something else um, but what I find really special about it is that come on Years later, the couple tragically lost their son in a farming accident. And somebody asked her if her song had been of comfort to her, and she said that it had. And that's, um, that says so much about what I feel that a song is or what a song is for me, that it's like a space that you build out of really specific feelings or desires or needs. And then whenever you, whenever you need to connect to that resource, you just step in to the song and then you're there. So it's like building a little home for yourself, and whenever you play the song, you're home again. 
God's given us years of happiness here Now we must part And as the angels come and go for you The pangs of grief tug at my heart Oh my darling Oh, the days will be empty, the night's so long without you, my love. And when God calls you, I am left alone, but we will meet in heaven above. Oh, my darling. Keep of happy days that on earth we try And when I come we'll walk hand in hand as one in heaven in the family of God Oh my darling This next song is another new one. Actually, I just wrote it a couple of weeks ago, so it's super fresh. Um, it's called Grandmother Pine. And um, the story is, well, um, a couple of years ago, I, um, let's say, started a relationship with a very particular tree. And this tree gave me a very particular message one day when I came to the tree carrying um, a sense of inadequacy, carrying a sense that I wasn't enough for somebody that I love very much. And the tree gave me this message and I saved the message in this song. Hmm.
and showed me what little I knew about time and your red, red heart beat wines into my palm in a soft sap slow I'm going to finish with a song a cappella without guitar. Mm -hmm. And this is a song that I sing um, to start and end things. So it carries layers and layers of beginnings and endings in it, this song. It's called Bright Morning Stars and it's an Appalachian sacred traditional. Bright morning stars are
Thank you.